A fire on a big rig in the high country still causing some traffic problems up there. Let's get you out to photojournalist Renee Luna. He's joining us live from I-80 at Secret Town Road near Colfax. Renee, what was on this truck? Uh, basically a uh, pet store right in here. Uh, we got a... Uh... The, uh, the uh, cleanup process is in, in effect right now, as you can see, all the firefighters and uh, Caltrans guys are uh, all banding together here. Um, the only live animals that we had on this load were a fish. Uh, they all survived, and they were taken away about 10 minutes ago from Placer County Animal Services. So uh, there's still a few hot spots, as you can tell over here. See that smoke right there? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's probably some sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe hamster uh, padding or something like that. Uh, driver I, I spoke to briefly and he's doing okay uh, a bit shaking up but he's uh, he's fine otherwise uh, this all went down about four o'clock this morning uh, I noticed his brakes were uh, smoking uh, pretty bad so he pulled over and uh, that time his, his, his tires had caught fire and this is what happened truck completely engulfed um, apparently uh, the number two lane is shut down but we got the number one still open traffic not affected that bad uh, it's still flowing uh, pretty good um, mostly big ones coming through. I uh, spoke to the uh, chief there uh, a while ago and said this is common up here uh, where trucks uh, overheat and uh, sometimes they catch fire. Sometimes this happens. Hey, Renee, did they tell you exactly when this may be back open again? Uh, I couldn't give you an exact time, but his words were they were going to be out here for quite a while. Okay, looks like a lot of work still to be done there. I know they were trying to get that right lane at least open by 7 o'clock, but that doesn't look like it's happening. So that's Renee Luna. He's out on the scene for us. Renee, thanks so much for the update, and we will, of course, uh, keep you posted here. They were hoping maybe for the 10 o'clock hour to have that back open, but again, that's a rough estimate. You can see a lot of work to be done.